when your nose starts to twitch. <laughs> well, I promised Dad we'd paint the clubhouse, so we better get started. Come on, Vicky. Coming, rabbit breath. <laughs> now hold it. You promised that you'd paint it, not we. Vicky can go along, but she can just watch. Boy, it's true. Little people do get the short end of the stick. <laughs> I sure do hate to impose, but I'm making Brandon dinner, and I've run all out of mayonnaise. Do you mind if I borrow some of yours? No, oh, why would you? Thanks. <laughs> Help yourself. There's a new jar. While I'm here, I do need a couple of other things. Well, if there's anything you don't see, let me know, and I'd be glad to run down the store for you. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, but I wouldn't hear of it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, my. Caviar? Oh, I see. It's the cheap kind that turns your tongue black. <laughs> Honey, you won't believe what happened to me at work today. And right under that boob brindle's nose. <laughs> uh, Ted, uh... <laughs> oh, hi there, Bonnie. Oh, did you say my husband is a boob? Well, what happened today at the office right under the boob's nose? <laughs> Nothing at all. His little nose doesn't miss a thing. Well, now, Joni, I'll just settle for the mayonnaise for now. It's not my brand, but I'll make do. <laughs> oh, what a couple she and Brandon make. Yeah, but a couple of what? <laughs> So tell me what happened at the office today that you were so excited about. Oh, yeah, 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 right, right, right. Well, our little company does business with this great big company in the Silicon Valley, Tentrex Electronics. Mm -hmm. Well, they sent a couple of their executives down to tour our plant today. And Brandon and I were their guides. So what happened? So they asked a lot of technical questions about our robotic systems, and they were so impressed with my answers that one of them took me aside, said he wanted to talk to me alone. He said... They have a proposition to make. Oh, Ted, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, so I hope you don't mind, but I invited them to dinner tonight. Oh, great. Where are we going? Here. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for a place with more than one waitress. Well, honey, honey, I mean, it's much nicer to get invited to a person's home. Well, I suppose. I'm going to sprinkle some caviar on the pizza. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That'll give me a chance to talk to them about Vicky. About Vicky, what do you mean? Well, honey, I think I've gone just about as far as I can developing Vicky here at home. I just don't have the equipment to expand her capabilities. But a huge company like Tentrex Electronics, they have all the technical know-how in the world. You know, that you'd be surprised what they could do with Vicky. And honey, I, well, I just think it's time maybe we gave Vicky up. Give up Vicky? Well, don't worry, honey. If they take her, they'll make thousands of Vickies. I'll get you a new improved one. I don't want a new improved Vicky. I I want this one. She's like a real daughter to me. 
I love every little microchip in her body. <laughs> okay, I'll get you the same one back, I promise. Yeah, but if they make thousands of them, how can I be sure I get back the same little Vicky? Oh, easy. I'll just print property of Joan Lawson on her bottom. <laughs> Hi! Hi there! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Bonnie tells me you paid me quite a nice compliment, said there was nothing goes on at the office that I don't know about. That's right. <laughs> so, what went on that I don't know about? Oh, nothing at all, Brandon. Oh, those Tentrax executives sure asked a lot of technical questions, didn't they? They sure did. Well, <clears throat> oh, by the way, just by coincidence, I happened to see you talking to our uh, visitors in the parking lot. Anything important? Not really. Well, it's funny. Certainly looked important through my binoculars. <laughs> well, we better be going. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I'm poop. By the time I finish painting this clubhouse, I'll be too big to get in it. <laughs> Harriet Brendel is coming. Are you sure? I can hear her footsteps on the lawn. <laughs> On the lawn? Wow, those microsensors in your ears are fantastic. I'll bet you can hear a fly walking. Not right now, but there's a snail crawling somewhere. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, we're having fun. Doesn't look like fun. If I'm joking, I'm croaking. <laughs> I've never had so much fun. Painting is one of the great joys in life. Really? Can I try it? Well, I hate to stop, but... Okay. Gee, thanks. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh, hi, Harriet. Hi. Uh, Vicki, would you come in and help me with the dips, please? Help with the dips? Boy, it's true. Little people get the short end of the stick. <laughs> you know, Harriet, if you help me paint the clubhouse, I think I can get you in as a member. You told me I can never join your club. Well, times change. You told me that this morning. <laughs> Times change faster nowadays. Somehow I feel you're not being sincere. Did I mention there are eight boys in the club and you'd be the only girl? Give me the brush. <laughs> Boy, what a woman won't do to meet men. <laughs> I'll get it, honey. Oh, thanks. Honey, I think this is going to be really interesting tonight. I've uh, programmed Vicky with a few tidbits, but I'm not going to tell him she's a robot till later. I want to see how long she can fool these experts. Ah, oh, good evening, Mr. Lawson. Mr. Andrews, Mr. Yamoto, please come in. Thank you. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, this is my wife, Joan, and my daughter, Vicky. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I appreciate your recognition of the customs of Japan, but I was born in Detroit and I have a bad back. <laughs> Sorry. Stop, Vicky. <clears throat> yes, uh, straighten up, Vicky. <laughs> She's always kidding. Actually, Vicky is quite a student of Japanese culture. Japan, founded in 660 BC, gained much from other societies, such as ice cream from the Italians and gunpowder from the Chinese. The Japanese were the first civilization to have exploding ice cream. <laughs> I didn't know that. She's a very bright child. Oh, yes, yeah, she's a fast learner. <laughs> yes, Vicky picks things up very easily. I pick things up very easily. That's incredible. Amazing. <laughs> Vicky, put Daddy down. She'd really be good at karate. <laughs> karate? <laughs> 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 I 
That's a little trick we do to amuse the guests. Yes, you know. okay, so I'll get some more glue for our next trick. <laughs> Better go check on dinner. Uh, come along, Vicky. <laughs> oh, please, gentlemen, uh, sit down. Uh, can I fix you something to drink? Would you know how to make a Harvey Wallbanger? <laughs> uh, would you settle for a little white wine? White wine? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Oh, it's a good year. March. <laughs> That's fine, thanks. Yeah, same for me. Okay. You, uh, you have a very unusual daughter, Mr. Lawson. Yes, she's not at all what she looks like. Uh. Well, we'll come right to the point, Mr. Lawson. We could use a man like you in our company. Oh? And we're prepared to offer you a very substantial contract. Well, I'm, uh, I'm very flattered. I, uh, I don't know uh, quite what to say. <laughs> well, we hope you'll say yes. <laughs> Uh, please consider it seriously. Oh, I will, I will. Uh, would you uh, excuse me uh, just, just a moment? Certainly. He's an interesting man. With a much more interesting daughter. What do you mean? Maybe she is more than just a daughter. I mean, after all, he is a genius in the field of robotics. Mm -hmm. And he just said she's not what she looks like. She lifted him like he was a feather, and she broke that table with one blow. Even Bruce Lee couldn't do that. Well, especially now that he's dead. <laughs> and we also know that he works on secret projects for his company. Maybe she's one of them. You think so? I'll bet she's a robot. A robot? That would be remarkable. Lawson could be an even greater asset to our company. What, are you kidding? Who needs hmm. Lawson? We'll just... Wait till his back is turned, and then we'll borrow the robot. Well, what do you think, Joni? I mean, this could be a really great opportunity for me to go with Tentrex Electronics. Might not be bad to live in the Silicon Valley, either. Hi. Man, I sure worked up an appetite pin in that clubhouse. You worked up an appetite watching Harriet paint it. That's your opinion. Oh, Jamie, you didn't. Oh, no, you don't. I heard him tell Harriet she could join the club if she painted it. You and your big electronic ears. <laughs> well, Jamie, your next club meeting might be held in the Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley? Correction. I heard the man say, who needs Lawson? When his back is turned, we'll just borrow the robot. Oh, Ted! Vicki, are you sure that's what he said? If I'm joking, I'm croaking. <laughs> what do you know? I didn't fool them for a second with Vicki. Hadn't you better call the police, Dad? Well, what proof do I have except for Vicki's word? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> and then I'd have to reveal that she's a robot. Well, what I'll do is I'll report them to plant security tomorrow as industrial spies. But in the meantime, I think we should all pretend like we don't know anything and just keep a close eye on Vicky, all right? Right. Uh, Jamie, you take Vicky to your room and stay with her. Gotcha. But how can we be sure she's a robot? Hi, kids. Hi. Sayonara. <laughs> hey, I have got a great idea. Don't worry, honey. Vicky's going to be okay. Yeah, but what if something is... Uh, we just happened to be looking out our window, and, and we just happened to see those two guys from Tentrex come to your front door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that was a, that was a complete surprise to us, too, wasn't it, honey? Complete? <laughs> oh. Gee, I hope we're not interrupting your din-din. <laughs> no, we haven't eaten our din-din yet. Oh. What a coincidence. We haven't din-dins either. <laughs> Oh, I know what you're thinking. What are we thinking? That since Brandon is your boss, you insist that we stay to dinner, but we won't hear of it. No, 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 no. <laughs> but we wouldn't want you to think that we don't appreciate the offer, so we'll stay. Oh, good. I love pizza. It's not exactly my favorite, but we'll make do. <laughs> well, Bonnie, why don't we go in and say hello to our guests? This is better than having them at our house. No dishes. Hi there. 
Guess who's coming to dinner? Oh, oh Mr. Brindle, uh, nice to see you again. Same here, Mr. Andrews. You too, Mr. Moto? It's Ya Moto. Oh, well, nice to see you again, Ya. Call me Brandon. <laughs> Uh, this is his wife, Bonnie, and his daughter, Harriet. Hi. 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 Yeah, that's them. <laughs> Harriet, why don't you go play in Jamie's room? Okay. Nice meeting you, Mr. Andrews. You too, Mr. Yaw. <laughs> uh, listen, please sit down. Dinner will be ready in just a minute. Oh. Excuse me. I, I hate to tear you away, but could you give me a hand in here? Tear me, tear me. <laughs> Help him suck the drinks. <laughs> good man. Good man, Lawson. I taught him everything he knows. He greatly admires my genius. Yeah. I suppose uh, Brandon shouldn't be so conceited, but it's hard for him to be humble. <laughs> uh, Mr. Brindle, if, if you will excuse me, I, I think I left my car phone off the hook, and uh, I'll be right back. Oh, well, Brandon, tell ya about your latest invention. Oh. This is really something. You'll love this guy. I have invented a dog collar with an alarm on it in case somebody tries to steal your pet. Hmm? And it really works. Mm. He tested it on me. <laughs> Nobody's tried to steal her yet. I win again. I'm tired of losing to you all the time. Can you throw a game? Throw a game. <laughs> <laughs> She's just making a joke. Mickey, go pick up the checkers, okay? Okay. Let's play something else. How about the game I saw you and Vicky playing? When? Yesterday. When he didn't know I was peeking in your window. We weren't playing any game. So what was Vicky doing in this cabinet? I sleep in the cabinet. <laughs> oh, I know the game you mean, Harriet. We were playing Star Wars, and the cabinet was Vicky's spaceship. Oh, that's neat. Can I be R2-D2, the robot? Sure. You won't even need a mask. <laughs> I am the smartest robot in the universe. I am programmed to be almost human. I am the only robot with freckles and loose front teeth. <laughs> So you see, by redesigning the heat shield, I solved the problem and gave the world the very first automatic toast butterer. <laughs> it's an old Japanese custom. When we're excited about something, we yawn. Really? Well, we should have honeymooned in Japan instead of Niagara Falls. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, I've got a refill. Oh, no, please, anything, a double. <laughs> You're just in time, big fella. How about a drink? Sounds good. Uh, oh, I'll help you, Brandon. Thank you. You always put too much booze in yours. Makes the veins in your nose stand out. <laughs> I made a big mistake. Vicky is not a robot. I didn't think so. The robot is Harriet. What? Are you sure? Yes. Brindle is the genius. But he acts like an idiot. <laughs> That's what he did. Here's your drinks, guys. Oh. oh. Ah. Here you go. Bottoms up. Oh. <laughs> Napping personal. <laughs> oh. You know, uh, Mr. Brendel, hmm? a man with your vision and ability would be a valuable asset to our company. Uh, well, that's very flattering. Uh, However, I must warn you, I'm very loyal to my company. You could name your own price. I'll give him two days' notice and tell him to shove it. <laughs> We'd like to uh, maybe discuss your ideas just a little further. Perhaps we could have dinner tomorrow night. Bring your wife and your daughter, too, of course. <laughs> Why wait till tomorrow? What's the matter with tonight? We can order our own pizza. Uh, Harriet! Harriet, come in here! Oh, but wouldn't that be awfully rude to the Lawsons? Oh, yes.
Did I hear someone say we're leaving? I'm awfully sorry, big fellow. We really got to go. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, regrettably, we have to be going too. I'm sorry, but something important came up and it just demanded my immediate attention. Come on, Harriet, we're leaving. Without eating? <laughs> So long, Jack. Thank Goodbye. you. Uh, thanks for your hospitality, Miss and uh, Mrs. Lawson, and please accept my apology. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I wonder what happened. I'll bet that weasel Brandon is up to something. I wish I could have heard their conversation. Yeah. I heard their conversation. What did they say, Vicky? One of the industrial spies said, Vicky's not the robot. The robot is Harriet. Harriet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, do they have a surprise coming with Harriet? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just the same, I probably better warn the Brendels. Are you kidding? You better warn those two guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, Vicky. That's your opinion. <laughs> She's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft curves. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, brings love.